will stay touching all kinds of paper And I ain't never gonna give a fuck about a hater Cause I know, oh, I got so baby What it do, you already know who it is. Guy King TV. This is Batai. What's up to everybody? Salute to everybody that's been um tapping into my channel, man. We about to build these followers up, man. I know a lot of people been asking about more uh videos. I'm gonna give y'all more videos soon. I'm just out here in Miami, man. This bullshit and cooling for a little bit. You know what I mean? Taking in nature. You already know palm trees, all that good shit. But uh Salute to everybody that's been tapping into the channel, man. So you got people who's been asking me, right, about the intro song. <laughs> that's me. I'm a rapper, too. I don't just motherfucking do. Uh, I do a lot of things, man. I make music. I'm a songwriter. I'm a producer. I do all that shit. Got a new project dropping soon. The music that you hear on the intro is going to be um, it's gonna be uh, on SoundCloud soon. I'm going to post the link soon. But I wanted to do this video and... Uh, just talk about making no fap a lifestyle, semen retention a lifestyle, tantra a lifestyle. So, um, one of the guys, he always hits me up in the inbox, the homie from India, he keep asking me questions. What I wanted to do this video on was specifically talk, talking about making this a lifestyle. Now, for those who go hard, you know, monk mode, all that shit, y'all going hard, how many days y'all going, that's cool. What I want to do this video on is this. When it comes to making it a lifestyle, for those who got girlfriends, right? For those of y'all who married, for those who got little hoes on the side, all that shit, right? Now, as I said in the previous videos before, you want to make this shit a lifestyle more than anything. So, understanding this, I say this all the time, semen retention is the first step into Tantra. Now, people ask me, why is that level one? It's level one because you got to understand something. And I say it every single time I talk in the video because I cannot stress the importance of understanding discipline. Discipline is very important. The reason why discipline is very important because you're going to be dealing with these little fine tenderonies. You're going to be dealing with the, the ladies, your lady, whatever, clapping them cheeks, right? You want to be able to have discipline because the reason why first step of, of just being able to just hold your semen without even being able to fuck something right now, right? It's because guess what? When you go to level two, you're going to be in some pussy. So if you can't hold and control your sexual urges off the rip without no motherfucking, um, no female around. And if, you, if your female is around, you should be stimulated by this feminine energy. But you should be able to control your energy because at the end of the day, you want to be able to transmute take the sexual energy. You want to transmute the sexual energy. Find yourself doing something creative. Get more productive, right? You want to get productive. Now, as I said it before in my video, your sexual energy, your spiritual energy, and your creative energy are all one and the same. So with that being said, Instead of thinking about sex, transmute that energy into something creative, something positive for yourself. You want to motherfucking get to a place where you start to build your life up. You want to build your life up to a point where you can feel like you that man. You want to feel like everything that you've been working for and you've been putting the work in is for something. Now, keep this in mind. When you deal with the sexual energy, we're talking about the feminine energy at the end of the day that you do all these great things for, that you want to be the best person for. Yeah, you want to be the best person for yourself, of course. But the feminine energy motivates you, okay? The feminine energy motivates you to want to be the best. You want to do it for yourself, but that's that whole part of wanting to be complete with yourself. You want to feel like a man. You want to feel like you're, 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 you're a master of your own uh, path, right? What that means is that you have to come to a term of being balanced, right? Now, lifestyle, making it a lifestyle. You initially want to start out, and for some people, they start out by counting days. Cool. But what you want to get to is you want to get to a point where you ain't got to count no motherfucking days. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to count no days because it don't matter. Let's say you link up with your girl. You fuck around, bust off, and you, you know, you be like, oh, man. 
it don't matter because guess what you ain't got to count no days you know why you ain't got to count no days it's because it's a lifestyle now you start thinking with that mindset it don't fucking matter it's a lifestyle now when you count days you make it seem like a challenge you make it seem like it's a game when you make it a lifestyle you win off the rip you know what i'm saying the only way to win is not to play no motherfucking game you see what i'm saying the only way to win is not to play no game so you go in with this with the mindset of understanding that there's levels to this shit i can't emphasize enough like i said before semen retention is step one you want to be able to get your sexual urges underneath uh to a control level where you can be disciplined enough to know that yeah i want to fuck yeah baby i want to fuck but right now i'm on this i'm on this path right now i got shit to do i need this energy for something else once you can get to a point where you feel comfortable with that right and this also ties into the other uh video i did where the homie and uh india hit me up asking me about edging and he asked me about edging he said yo what about edging no man if you're not ready to take it to the next level edging is pretty much just playing with yourself without busting you don't want that because you know why i'm gonna break this down too the reason why you don't want that is because you want to get your mind rewired to having your partner please you not your motherfucking hand okay you don't want your hand pleasing because what happens is this you can do semen retention all day nigga but if you fucking around edging there's certain things that you want to be able to understand. If you want to be a sex guy, if, I'm, if you want to be able to fuck your girl and be fucking motherfuckers out here, right? If you want to be fucking these women right, you got to let your motherfucking hand get off your dick, nigga. I'm going to tell you why. On your motherfucking dick, dog, you got hella nerves, okay? Now, I deal with this tantra shit for real, right? When you get to the point where you... Don't let your dick feel nothing but some motherfucking pussy at other times as you washing your dick, dog. You washing your motherfucking dick. You cleaning it when you go to the bathroom, when you go take a shower, all that good stuff, right? What you will realize is this. Your dick is an antenna, dog. It's a wand. You can start to communicate with your female's body. Your female's body will start to communicate with your body. When you fucking your girl, dog, you can get to a point where you'll know when your girl gonna come. You will know when your girl gonna come. You can feel her. You can feel these energies. You know what was going, what's gonna please her. You can feel it. You gonna be like, damn, oh yeah, she liking that. Oh, I know she liking that. You wanna be able to establish a clear connection with your partner when you fucking her. Your hand is gonna motherfucking interfere with that shit. You know why it's gonna interfere with it? Cause you been motherfucking jacking your goddamn dick to the point where you didn't bust though. So all you know is the goddamn hand. No. No, you playing yourself, dog. Like DJ Khaled said, congratulations, you played yourself. Telling y'all niggas, man, get off the goofy shit. I've been doing this shit for years, man. Years. Salute to everybody who's been disciplined enough to do the no fat, but I'm giving y'all straight game from a spiritual standpoint. I'm giving y'all game from a standpoint that a lot of niggas online ain't talking about. Not saying nothing, taking, taking away nothing from them, but I'm putting y'all on straight game. Now... Like I was saying, no edging. Why? Because you want to be able to communicate with your partner through a sexual uh, uh, contact. Okay? When you in some motherfucking pussy, especially when you with your girl or a woman that you are very closely connected with, because what you'll realize is this. After a while, all these girls out here, they was chasing sex before, just like you probably was chasing sex before, but now you really want the intimacy because the intimacy comes before the sex. Now, when you fucking your girl, you can feel when she about to come. You can feel the way her body is. Your dick sending signals back to you. The reason why you'll know she's about to come is because you can feel yourself about to come. It don't matter how long you've been in that pussy. Your, your dick is a wand. It's an antenna. You can feel it. It's sending signals back to you. Now, with that being said, you want to work on your breathing. There's so many levels to this shit. Working on your breathing, taking your time, dealing with Carezza. The next step that you want to get into is Carezza. You want to start taking a lot more time when you're dealing with your sex, right? When you're dealing with your girl. You want to take a lot more time. Now, Carezza is something I'm going to go into in another video. But what I want to talk about right now is the fact that you want to make this shit a lifestyle. The reason why you want this to be a lifestyle, and I cannot stress it enough, 
It's because once you've done this a long enough time, you'll realize that you start to rewiring your brain. You start to think a little different. Your emotional intelligence starts to come up a couple notches. You see what I'm saying? You don't act too much like a goofball too much when you do this shit. You make it a lifestyle when you ain't counting days. You don't want to be counting days. You want to be on your shit. You want to be on your shit to the point where you can fuck your girl. You might fuck off. But guess what? You bouncing back to it. You bouncing back. It ain't going to take you no time. You know, and one of the things is too, the, the longer you go, if you fuck off one time, it's not going to be as bad as you initially first starting. It's not going to be the same, okay? But I just wanted to make this video, let's, let's look at it as a lifestyle. You want this to be a lifestyle. You want this to get to a point where you can actually say to yourself, I'm living a certain life lifestyle. Anything else, it seems like it's a fad and it goes and it, it, it goes by and it passes by, but that's not what you want. This right here keeps you focused on your own goals and dreams that you got, okay? So you want to do everything that can assist you with focusing on your goals and your dreams. Simple, simple and plain. That right there is going to set you back to square one, doing things like edging. Not saying that you, you can't, because guess what? You a man, you do what you fucking want to do. All I'm doing is giving game. I'm not here to judge. I'm not here to be on no moralistic high horse. None of that shit. I'm just giving you straight game. Straight up. You want to get to a point where you can discipline your sexual urges. Because guess what? We're talking about magical, magical uh, 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 um, ingredients in your body. And sometimes motherfuckers will take a simple moment of pleasure and not realize that this type of energy can carry you a long way. Now, later on, I'll be getting into more things like sexual alchemy. I'll be getting into more things like dealing with the sexual magic because a lot of motherfuckers don't know that when you do this shit right here, you storing up that motherfucking energy, dog. It's like a battery. You storing that battery up to be able to motherfucking make some amazing things happen in your life. And we'll get into that. All right. But I know everybody been asking me to make these videos longer. But what I'm going to say is this. Let's keep getting these motherfucking subscribers up. Like, share, and subscribe, man. We're going to keep going in. I ain't going to stop, and I salute everybody who's been fucking with me. Like I said, the new music is going to be up soon. I was Let's stay touching all kinds of paper. And I ain't never going to give a fuck about a hater. Because I know, oh, I got so crazy. So